Thoughts on the day of the fight, Miguel Cotto, Daniel Gale. I'll keep it very brief. I've seen the weigh in, I've seen the photos. Daniel Gale does look very drained. He didn't look good. He didn't look like he had much meat on his bones. He didn't look like there was much colour. And I think cutting to this weight limit, cutting those extra three pounds at his age, after one or two wars, may well prove to be too much for him. I could see Miguel Cotto looking fairly devastating in this fight now. Uh, initially, I thought of it more as a 50 50 matchup. Now I think that the weight advantage you know, could be the deciding factor. You know, Gale is a guy who's going to need to rely on movement, on volume, on accuracy. And all of those things can potentially be affected um, with the fact that he's been obviously dehydrated and down in weight. Uh, Miguel Cotto, you know, he looks good at 157. We know that really he's probably more of a light middleweight than a middleweight anyway. And I think his style, we know he's going to be aggressive. We know he's going to come forward. We've seen what he did against a wounded foe in the Sergio Martinez fight. And I think it's possible that the damage that has been done to Daniel Gill, both by Gennady Golovkin and then by this three-pound further deduction in weight, uh, could see its similar effect. Now, I read a thing on Boxing Scene with Daniel Gill saying he's confident he'll be able to rehydrate and be in good condition for the night of the fight. But as I see it, as I hear it, there's a £10 rehydration clause. So that's possibly going to lead to him having to wake up and lose weight again, uh, which is going to be very, very difficult for him indeed. Just my thoughts. Um, I mean, a peak Daniel Gill beats the peak Miguel Cotto because I don't think Miguel Cotto is a 160-pounder and I think he could get outboxed. I never think of Koto as uh, at his best against you know slick movers and technical boxers. I'm not saying Daniel Gale ticks all of those boxes, but I think those are the kind of guys who are going to expose uh, expose Miguel Koto, Austin Sharp, for example, Floyd Mayweather, for example. And I thought as a bigger man, even though Daniel Gale might not have the capabilities of those two, as a bigger man in a higher division who probably hits harder, he could probably maybe expose some of those flaws. Um, but having seen the way in, having read about the Rio Jason clause, I think Miguel Cotto may well look devastating. Let me know your thoughts. As always, keen to discuss. Thanks for watching.